Hello and welcome to the latest instalment of our on-device research academy videos. Today I'm joined by Sarah Milliard, research manager at on-device research, and she's here to explore some of the latest findings behind creative best practice in digital advertising, which comes more widely from our recent report, The State of Digital Brand Effectiveness. So Sarah, to kick things off, can you explain how we should accurately measure creative success within digital advertising? Yeah, so in addition to our standard brand metrics that we usually measure, such as awareness, um, consideration and purchase intent, we also have a creative review section within the questionnaire. Um, and essentially that allows us to gain a deeper understanding as to what respondents feel towards the creative. So we're able to um, kind of understand why particular me um, metrics have been shifted whilst perhaps uh, other creatives have struggled to shift other metrics. Um, and in particular, we have a question in there about emotional response, um, which is followed up actually by an open-ended question. So we can really understand what respondents feel and how they feel towards the creative after they've been um, exposed to it. And within that section, we also have a top message takeout question so we can understand what um, messages that the creative is successfully communicating. Um, and we also have a call to action question so we can um, understand what actions are being taken after exposure. Okay, so why is getting digital creative execution right so important within the current media landscape? Yeah, so our data uh, suggests that the digital media landscape at the moment is more cluttered than ever, and actually cutting through to audiences is more of a challenge than it has ever been. So it's really important that we achieve the best in class uh, creative execution, particularly to stand out among competitors. So Underwise Research recently released a new report into the state of digital brand effectiveness. And within this, they mention about the importance of salience and how to achieve it. Are you able to explain a little more around this? Yeah, so actually, according to Jenny Romaniuk and Byron Sharp, um, salience is more psychological by nature. It's not necessarily awareness, it's more when brands have already gained awareness and it's um, when respondents are able to recall, um, consider and remember the brand uh, when it matters most, so at the point of purchase. Um, so that's really important when brands have really strong salience there. So as part of our creative review around salience itself, um, we found that increasing salience through noticeability really can have a strong impact on awareness and also consideration. So actually part of our research, we found that on average, we, we see that strong noticeability campaigns uh, shifted spontaneous awareness by 3.7%, whereas those on average campaigns that had uh, weak noticeability was only able to shift spontaneous awareness of 2.4%. So similar patterns are also seen um, for consideration. So those strong noticeability campaigns shifted consideration by uh, plus 2.1% on average, whereas the weak noticeability campaigns are only shifted by 1.4%. Similarly, we, we looked at top message takeout and actually found that delivering a really clear and concise message is key for also driving awareness and consideration. And the campaigns on average that had a strong message takeout drove spontaneous awareness for, by an extra 1% um, compared to that, those weak message takeout campaigns. Uh, and that was the same for consideration as well as spontaneous awareness. Okay, so what creative best practice tips would you advise in order to achieve brand awareness? So when examining the creative learning database uh, for driving awareness, our norms database suggests that the following five tips ensure your ad will achieve standout and also drive awareness. So the first one is logo presence on every frame is crucial. So it's really important to appear right at the start, at the middle and in the end. Um, so that no matter when the viewer is looking, they know who it's for and that the brand name is not missed. We also recommend clear copy styles, so text in bold, capitals, but not too overpowering with too much information. So be clear who it's for and what they do and also just keep it simple. Brand colouring is also important, so these maintain, build and refresh memory structures and repeating particular colours will build that familiarity and then in turn awareness of the brand. 
We also recommend product shots um, to help customer recall. So putting the products into situ can really make it clear who it's for and what it does um, to really illustrate how it fits into respondents' lives. And finally, human presence um, also aids um, resonance, so bringing the brand and the product to life. The top performing campaigns that we saw from our benchmark database uh, on awareness actually adheres to four out of those five principles. So really important for building that awareness. Okay, that will make sense. But how about when it comes to driving brand consideration? Yeah, so moving down the market funnel, um, our data actually suggests the following 10 tips can help build a so, um, consideration. So three are the same for awareness. Uh, so making sure that that logo presence is on every frame, product shots to catch the eye, and again, a human presence. But in addition to this, we'd recommend place, placing branding at the top of the creative, which really helps to boost ad recall and then in turn consideration. We'd also make sure that you're really cautious with dual branding um, because it can really distract and confuse. So the link message between the two brands needs to be really clear in the campaign. It can be done, but more of a focus is needed there. Um, we would really recommend having a clear message. It really beats a text heavy ad overloaded with information. We really need these ads to cut through during the um, really cluttered uh, digital media marketplace at the moment. So that simple and solid uh, message takeout is incredibly important. Video actually um, helps and gains the user's attention, which again, in turn, can help to build that consideration. And also injecting a bit of humour into your creative can also help engage um, those viewers. We've also noticed that interactivity uh, helps the ad become more memorable and also holds the user's attention. So perhaps adding a QR code, which we've seen in recent campaigns, can really help that interaction element there. And finally, with purchase intent, we really recommend having a call to action. So making it clear what is wanted from the respondent. Uh, is it purchase or is it online search for more information? So having that clear message around what action should be taken really helps. And on average, those top performing consideration ads uh, adhere to six out of those 10 uh, key principles. Thank you, Sarah. For more information on creative best practice within digital advertising, or indeed our wider report into the state of digital brand effectiveness, then please visit our website at ondeviceresearch.com.